It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. We just had a massive, massive moment with our SD card here on the channel. Been making videos for 10 years. Um, never had this problem before, a new problem for me. So it said I had a write error on the SD card, whatever that means. So I did a, a full on 15 minute review of the eight wide ice stout Affogato Imperial Stout. 440 milliliter can, 10% ABV. Um, here is the beer. Already poured, I'm afraid. Um, we're gonna do it again. There's still a little bit of beer. Let me give it a bit of a rigorous pour. It's not gonna be quite the same beer review as it, as it, as it was because I've not cracked the can open and a bit of a shame, but, but we have the majority of the beer in the glass. It's still carbonated. It's only 15 minutes old. Let's take a look at it. Take it on the chin and move on. One finger tan coloured head. Originally the beer had a big four five finger head on the on the beer. Rocking the beer back and forth you got good levels of carbonation rising up the side of the Glass is a jet black beer in the glass. It looks very nice. It's even got my, look, it's got my lip marks on the glass there. Oh, well, these things happen. Have a look at the beer though as I rock it round in the glass. That looks really good, really good. Carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It's a lovely, lovely looking beer. I know, I know what it tastes like. I, I nearly slipped up then, but it's a lovely looking beer. Let's get the aroma. It's full of coffee, vanilla. And it's quite vinous as well. There's some plum and fig and prune flavors coming through on the back end. Loads of rich roasted malt aromas. I'm ready to dive in. Oh, a little bit of coconut as well. Right as I was thinking, right, it's time to dive in. A little bit of coconut. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cool. Wow. That is a really, really bitter beer really roasty and toasty. You can feel the bitterness on your tongue. Wow. Loads of coffee addition, real coffee bean addition on the palate. You can really taste that coffee. It's like, it's like chewing a coffee bean. Bitter. Lots of roasted malt as well. Chocolate, coffee, caramel flavors coming through. A touch of vanilla, a touch of Coconut, a toasted coconut. And in the min mid midst of all this, this is an Australian craft beer. And I'd like to say a massive thank you to Travis in Australia for sending us this, this beer. I, I'd already done the whole kind of thank you thing in the previous review and I was I was back in my groove and I thought, yeah, I've already done it. But no, we better say thank you to Travis for the beer. Thank you very much, Travis, for this wonderful beer. Really, really tasty. Good mouthfeel. Thick, rich, creamy, full-on mouthfeel on the beer. It's the, the coffee edition is a bit like the, the old-fashioned kind of different style of beer, but the old fashioned double IPAs where they used to add loads of bitterness to them. They used to get into about 100 IBUs. It's that similar situation with this beer, but it's, it's an it's a imperial stout. But they've added loads of bitterness to the back end on the beer. It's very good. Velvety, rich. Chocolate coffee caramel. Fabulous. Fabulous. Right. 
The I might be in lowercase, but beware, this is a capital beer. Brimming with luscious roasted coffee and chocolate malt flavours, drizzled over a scoop of velvety ice cream. Ice stout affogato is balanced by a brisk bitterness and bold hoppy freshness, remixed by the additions of lactose coffee and vanilla in the brew. As with all our beers, this beer is a very modern interpretation of this classic style. Really good. 10% ABV, 440 milliliter can. If you haven't tried this, I, I suggest you try this beer. I like the rawness of this beer, this bitterness of the beer. I said just now it's, a, it's an Australian craft beer. It's not an Australian craft beer. They're from Walkworth in New Zealand, Eight Wired Brewing Company. I'm going to rate it. Really, really good beer. Lovely lacing. Look at the beer rolling around in the glass. Now really mix that up. Look at that. Fabulous. I actually like that more a little bit. I actually like it a little bit more second time around. It had a big thick head first time around and it was tough to get into it. And, and I was kind of just like a little bit trying to, trying to, as soon as I was pouring the beer, the head was big, massive head on it, but it's, it's all calmed down now. And I've, I've, I've appreciated the beer a little bit more. So perhaps that CAD right error was for the best. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows, nine out of 10. So nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.